I'm going to test audio. Testing audio. audio Camera speeds. All right, and action. Not a lot of people know that we're doing this. I've had actual friends be like, oh yeah, that's the worst idea you could ever do. And I'm sitting there like, oh. <laughs> it's yeah. something you've always wanted to do. It's something I've always wanted to do. And if you don't like try, then you'll always wonder. You have to full send go for it so that you don't regret it later. able to see the clothes touch the samples we really love being able to be super hands-on with that and it was a whole oh. different world than we're used to you know not only were we able to touch every single fabric that we now have in our brand but we tried them all on also we've officially gathered a really amazing team and everyone's so talented but in very specific ways yeah there's nicole creative director all hail nicole i think we have our manager manager there we go we invited our friend lexi to come to one of the fittings with us because she is a plus size and curve model. Okay, Lex, we want you to be so blunt. Like if there's anything you like, anything you don't like, totally feel free to speak up about it. I won't hold back. You can't just make the same garment and make it a little bit bigger. That's how you get pieces that don't fit perfectly or a little boxy and everyone's bodies are so different. From day one, we wanted it to be made in LA and also just have a big, you know a larger size range mm -hmm. we realize you know we aren't knowledgeable in this subject so let's get someone who is to help us along the way here the first day we were at our first location it was a smaller location than our like big photo shoot with the models something that I think was really fun but also stressful was we styled ourselves this was very much a like, to introduction money. to like who we are as co-founders mm -hmm. of parallel Hello, it's been a minute, my fellows. I've been trying to make my name well known. First, they was telling me, get the hell on. Now, I get the room jumping higher than the cell on. Bitches jiggle they melons. Catch me in your city, really, my bus kind of swell on. Bando begging out your fucking their drums. You hear some? Put it on my chip run. My city gon' love it. Flocking for the feature that's gonna put you over budget. I could not have been more blessed. I have some of the most talented and creative friends. Me and Alicia were super quick to be like, we need to include them. Lexi, who did the plus size edits, also modeled, and then for the day one, vlogged for me. Yeah. Because I couldn't do it. Alexis Oakley did our makeup, uh -huh. who's so, so, so talented, and a good friend of ours. Lovette did our hair. Uh -huh. She's a good friend. She vlogged a few times too. Yeah, she vlogged. <laughs> TK, obviously, does so much. So much. It felt so boss bitch energy, I having was on a high. so many talented females running this shoot, yeah. like running this yeah. shoot. It's parallel day two. Um, we have a long day ahead of us. This is the editorial shoot. Um, so we get to see the clothes on um, actual models for the first time, which is gonna be so insane. It's a long day, call time's at six, and I believe we're gonna try to wrap around three. Good morning. Shoot day two, let's freaking go. The whole goal of this shoot day was getting more editorial like assets and photos and videos. We get there and we realize we don't actually have clothes in some of the sizes. It's really more of a big deal than I think people think because Alicia and I took so much 
time <laughs> to make sure that like we were super inclusive and had all the sizes available. If the only piece we have for our plus size model is a bodysuit, like we're just gonna rock this. We put her in a bodysuit, we put another model in a bodysuit, and we we're like, let's let this show the size range. Like let's let this be a moment instead of letting it kind of like defeat us. Yeah. And it's just crazy because my favorite shots and my favorite photos were of that moment. So love, baby. Leveled up, yeah, upgrade. We stay on a replay to the DJ. Just put it in rotation for motivation. We had three primary locations. We had this one area that was this giant white, it looked like bricks were sticking out. Directly in front of that wall was this giant hole that ended up being like one of our main photos, which yeah. is really cool. We had a, a girl create a bunch of hanging chains. That was really cool to watch come to life because we had been talking about it for a long time. And then Alicia and I both wanted like something kind of different and out of the box and we ended up making this box mirror <laughs> box. <laughs> So the girls get to go in the box and shoot themselves. Yeah. And then we'll be shooting them from the top as well. Good. That looks fire. Another last minute thing that Alicia and I decided to do was to bring our own GoPro cameras. Yeah. I think that footage ended up being like next level. It was so simple, but we ended up just holding it on a selfie stick. And all we did was simply just like tell the models to like keep eye contact with the camera and move the camera all around them. And those shots ended up being so sick. My favorite ones were the stuff we got on the camera quarter. Yeah. And it's crazy because that was the first camera I got ever. Like as a child. And then day three was our e-com shoot, which was our, our data really focused on the actual photographs of the actual product that was going to be on the website itself. Softest thing I've ever put on my body, I never want to take it off. on the last look of the day. I'm dead. We did it, Ashley. We did it. I could literally, I could sleep. Why we loved the name Parallel Apparel was for people to feel like they're living in parallel with who they're meant to be and like tapping into that side of them that's already there. I don't know, we, we wanted people to feel like, to feel great, to feel hot, to feel confident, like yeah. a boss bitch, like sexy, yeah. like to feel empowered. You know, wear these clothes, whether it's in a meeting and they close a million dollar deal or they're just chilling on their, their couch and wearing sweatpants, the whole point is that they feel empowered to be all that they are. And that's where the sexy as is kind of comes from. Sexy as is. I'm sexy as is. I'm sexy as is. I'm sexy as is. I am sexy as is. I am sexy as is. To me, the saying sexy as is means exactly what I just said. Like, you inherently are sexy. Clothes may enhance that, but sexiness is what you embody. It really is something that you inherently are. Yes. Just fully accepting that. Yeah. I'm so excited for people to hopefully also feel that when they wear our clothes. Because it's not the clothes. The clothes are showing No, off. the clothes are just a reflection. The person like, who's wearing it. Tap into it. Yeah. I, I'm, that's what I'm most excited about this. Oh! <laughs>